One of the questions that I get asked most often is, hey, I just made this cool dashboard, this cool template, or this cool Notion page. How do I make it so that my friends can also create a version of this? So how do I share it with them so they can basically create their own versions? So as an example, my sister recently started using Notion and recently she made a dashboard for her college classes. And she started using it and she really liked it. And so she's like, hey, how do I make this so that my friends can also you know, create their own version of this? So that's what we're gonna cover in this video. Now there's a couple ways to do this. Number one, if you just have like one friend you wanna share this with, what you can do is you can literally just share it with that friend. So as an example, we can just go ahead here and share it with uh, Asa Patel. We can invite and we can give them whatever access. You can give them any of these access uh, because then they can just duplicate it uh, from their view. So basically I can invite them and what'll happen is we can just skip this for now. Uh, what'll happen is if you go here in this shared section, it'll pop up for them. And they'll also get a notification that got, they got added. And then what they can do on their end is they can then duplicate this to private. So basically they'll duplicate it to private. And then you can see here, this is in my private section. If you go down here, these are just the pages that are accessible by me. So that's one way you can have your friend duplicate the template and they can basically adjust and tweak the template based on their own needs. The next way is if you want to basically do um, more than just one person, right? You want to actually be able to make this duplicatable in general. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to share at the top right. And now you can see here, uh, there's two tabs here. There's share and publish. So we're not going to share. We're going to go to publish. We're going to publish this to web. And then you got to make sure that this section allow duplicate as template is turned on. So if that's turned on, you can either copy web link or you can literally just go view site. And what will happen is it'll show you this exact page in a website form. Then what your friend or whoever you're allowing this to do can literally just hit this duplicate thing and it'll duplicate it into their workspace. And so I'll just duplicate this into, uh, you know, Falcon Notes again. This will show up in my private as you see here. Now this is by far the better way to do it if you want to send this to like a bunch of people. And so the other thing you can do here is actually submit this template to like the Notion template gallery. So if you're not familiar with the Notion template gallery, if you go to notion.so slash templates, it has a whole ton of pre-made templates. These are, some are uh, designed by Notion themselves and then some are by other people. So what you can do is you can actually, like if you're looking for templates to kind of get you started, let's say you're looking for, you know, you started school and you're looking for a nice template to get you uh, started. These are some curated examples of templates that Notion recommends. The other thing you can do is basically you go back to templates and you can actually submit a template that you made. So what you do is just click this uh, button on the top right, submit a template. And we already have an account here. So basically it has our defaults here and we just put the URL in, we give a description, etc. But if you don't have an account already, it'll basically prompt you to create an account and then you can submit the template. And I'll also leave a link to this page here um, in the description if you're interested in learning how to, you know, create your own templates and share them on the Notion template gallery. Um, you know, when you actually get this link, is this a pretty long link? Let me actually paste this down here so you can get an idea. Um, basically, that's a pretty long link and it has a bunch of random characters and stuff like that. What you want to do um, if you're sharing this with just a bunch of your friends uh, it might be a better idea just to put it in tiny URL or one of those link shorteners um, and you'll still be able to uh, get to the page and people will be able to duplicate it. It's just it'll make your links look a lot cleaner. That's what we do for our downloadable templates. So basically, if you go on Gumroad, download one of our templates, we have a bunch of tiny URLs that basically point back to these um, links. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope this was helpful. Once you actually put your templates or dashboards or tools out into the world, uh, if you're comfortable, please do share in the comments here so that we can see what kind of tools and dashboards and templates you're putting out in the world. Seeing the different tools and dashboards and ideas that the Notion creators make is always super inspiring.